Hi guys, welcome to my channel in the lifestyle. So today I'm with my comfy one. It's a softy and I feel so comfortable. <laughs> I feel so comfortable with it and yeah, let's begin. So the today's video is not about knowing the difference between a radiographer and a radiologist or the insight of radiography because I already did that one so you can just check that out if you want to know about the insight of radiography, right? And it's also not about like changing from your course go to do medicine or like radiographer doing medicine or a CEO doing medicine or any other course doing medicine. I already covered that up already as well so you can just check that out as well if you want to change your course to do medicine right so today is about the institutions the duration the tuition fees that who can do radiography and all that and we are getting into this so let's go <laughs> So anyone can be a radiographer, right? Anyone can be a radiographer as long as you have what it takes. And about what it takes is just two things only. The first thing is that you need to have the interest, you need to have the commitment, you need to willingly want to do radiography. It's not all about, um, you know, people saying that you do this and do that. I remember me being taught to do that and do that, but I never took part because I found myself having interest in radiography. So it's all about having the interest in your geography and it's all about you willing it, taking it up and wanting to be a radiographer at the end of the day, right? Then the second thing is having making sure that you have the the complete grade 12 certificates because that's going to be a passport for you going into radiography. So for radiography, the requirement is that you need five courses or five subjects, you need to pass in five subjects for you to be accepted in radiography. And that's biology, you need to do well in your biology, it's a mandate, biology, mathematics, English, science, and any optional subjects that you have among your optional ones. So you need to select one and it makes five. So you only need five O levels and you are done. So only these two requirements and you are in radiography. Anybody, anyone can do radiography. Anyone can be a radiographer, right? What's in radiography? A lot is in radiography. As I said earlier, I'm not really going to, sh to share the inside of radiography. You can just check that out. So for radiography, it has quite a lot of things in it it's not a narrow program like you only have to do this you don't have to go anywhere it really has a lot of things in it you can be a sonographer you can be a echocardiographer you can be um you can be doing mri sitting all those kind of things so it has quite a lot of things in it as i said i'm not going to share much about it but i'm just giving you the glimpse of it to say it's a not it's not a narrow program so you are not just going to be in one field only or being in working with one things or two things only if you feel like you want to change your you want to be like okay let me change to this let me be a sonographer let me be a echocardiographer let me be in this position you can change quite easily as long as you are putting in more money and in more years to learn and to go back to school and all those kind of things so it's not a narrow program it's quite quite general it's quite expanded you can do much in it right in zandia we only have four institutions which offer radiography this is as far as i have done the research so we only have four institutions which i know about and i think these are the only ones in zandia yeah definitely they are the only ones so the first one is unza we have unza we have apex we have levy monawasa medical university and we also have evelyn horn college so these are the only four institutions which offer radiography in zambia so for these three unza levy and apex these three offer degree they offer degree in radiography and evelyn horn offer a diploma right so yeah, these are the only ones we have. Tuition phase also is about 33,000 to 35,000. So I'm just going to give you ranges. So 33,000 to 35,000, that's UNSA, PA, right? PA. And 
For Apex, it's about 22,000 to 25,000 per year. Then, Levy Monohazi is about 19,000 to 23,000 per year, right? Then, Evelyn Horn is about 15,000 to 17,000 in a year. By the way, Unza, Unza Levy and Apex, these, it's all about semesters. No terms, it's all about semesters, meaning two semesters in a year. It's like spending the whole year in school, right? So they're not really, really close, as in they close for a month, two months, and all that. No, it's just a few days or maybe a week, a week only, a week going to two weeks. That's all about these guys. It's just, it's semesters, right? Then for Evelyn Horn, that's a diploma, so it's terms. That's three, uh, three months in a year, three months, three months, three months in a year. That will be three terms in a year. If you are thinking of doing distance, Unza got your back. So when you go there, first and second year is cut out. You're going to be exempted. You're going to start in your third year. So your third year, fourth year, fifth year, meaning you're going to be there for three years, right? So the passport of doing distance is a diploma. When you have a diploma, you're good to go. You can just apply there at Unza and you start in your third year, fourth year, and your fifth year, and you are done. For the tuition fees, they differ from the ones who like they are there for five years, first year, second year, third year. So you are going to be paying uh, fifteen to seventeen thousand. That's the range in a year. That's the amount you're going to be paying at Unza. When you're done paying, you are going to be done in your fifth year. I mean, you're going to be there for three years, and you are done, and you got your degree, right? Hey. <laughs> Masters, if you want to do masters, Unza got you, right? Unza have you, Unza have your back. You can just go at Unza and you can do your masters, which is going to be two years. So you can have a diploma, your degree, your masters, or you can start with the degree, then your masters. So masters is two, two years. So for masters, you are going to specialize in one thing. You are not really going to go there as radiography masters in radiography but you are going to specialize in one machine or in one modality you can either do ultrasound you can do uh, ct mri you can do nuclear medicine you can just choose whichever you want to go into you can just choose one from there that's all about masters for phd we don't really have phd yet in zambia but I know and I'm sure that soon we are going to have PhD in Zambia. So, yeah. So for the courses, it depends with the institution you are at. But these are the main courses, these are the compulsory courses that they don't miss at each and every institution of radiography. Anatomy should be there, pathology should be there, psychology should be there. You also have imaging processes, you should be there. You also have equipment because you really need to know what you are working with, right? Equipment will be there, imaging technique 2, imaging technique 1 will be there. That's all about ultrasound is also there. So for those who are at the degree level, they are doing degree, they are going to have what they call advanced imaging, which is going to have nuclear medicine in it, MRI in it, CT in it. And they are also going to have ultrasound as its own course. The detailed one because at the diploma level you're not really going to learn details of ultrasound city and other things but you are going to learn much more about x-rays like taking the images and other things right what to wear you can wear anything you can wear anything as long as you are comfortable but there is a condition definitely so you can wear anything as long as you are comfortable but you have to make sure that you wear things that are going to present your program they are going to present you and they're going to show to people to say you are doing radiography you are in a health field and you definitely if you're in health field you need to look smart you need to look so uh, great you need to look so nice you don't have to make people misunderstand and start guessing like okay which program is this person in like is this person a musician is this person a dj is this person a what like it's so confusing right so you need to wear things that are going to make you comfortable things that are going to make you to present your program because patients really fear if they see you putting on things that are like 
what's happening what's happening am i being attended by a dj patients get the confidence and the trust in you starting with what you are wearing before you even approach them before they approach what you are wearing is going to present to them to say if they're going to trust you or if they are going to have doubts in you and once the patient start having doubts in you it's kind of so weird right it's it's so bad it's so bad guys it's bad it's bad you can also check out that video about the books that you really need the books that are going to help you in understanding the concept and they are really summarized they are really really going to be helpful to you guys and also the the website which you can use to find those kind of books don't be like me who made a lot of mistakes while i bought so unnecessary books like i just troubled my parents i mean why buying those things so you can just check that out and hopefully it will be helpful either you're doing diploma or degree those ones are going to be helpful of course there are more books definitely but you can start from there and they can be helpful so this is what i thought of sharing with you guys about your geography institutions the duration the distance and all those kind of things if you have any question you can just put them in the comment section and if you have any addition you can also put in the comment section if you feel left out if you feel like you are left out on something like you are behind on something which i was saying or i haven't mentioned about it i haven't said about it you can just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching for me and my comfort one <laughs> this thing which is so soft i mean so soft for me and this it's bye see you in the next episode and thank you so much for watching <laughs>